GE is here and polling day is on 10 July. What we know is that there'll be a lot of phrases used during this period that honestly, a lot of people don't understand, but act like they understand, but really don't understand. Here are 12 terms commonly used in GE that you need to know. Ready? Let's go. Number 1. Sample count. How it's used. In most constituencies, the sample count reflected official results. This term is commonly used after voting has ended. It's a count that's done at the start of the vote counting process to get an early indicator of what the results will look like. So how it works is that a counting assistant will pick up a random bundle of 100 ballot papers in front of the voting agents and candidates. The votes will be added up with weightage given to account for the difference in the number of votes cast at each polling station. Number 2. Popular vote. How it's used. He received just 25% of the popular vote. The vote share a candidate has out of a total number of votes. Basically, it's like how popular you are lah, in the most straightforward way possible. Number 3. Spoiled votes. How it's used. He didn't care about voting, so he spoiled his vote. When your vote cannot be counted as a valid vote, for example, when it looks like this, it basically gets thrown away, like trash. Uh-huh, you waste paper. Number 4. Swing. How it's used. The swing of votes to the Purple Party was unexpected. The extent of change in voter support for parties from election to election. Not literally on a swing lah, okay? Number 5. Landslide. The landslide brought me down. How it's used. This is a landslide win for our long. When an election is won by an overwhelming number of votes. Therefore, a landslide. Number 6. Coalition. How it's used. This country has never seen a coalition. A few parties coming together to join forces for a common purpose, like forming a government. Sort of like the Avengers, but probably less cool. Number 7. Three Cornered Fights. How it's used. The Three Cornered Fight is the most action the voters in the SMC have seen in years. Fight in three corners. No lah, competition that involves three people or groups. Like when three parties are fighting for one GRC or SMC. Could also be four cornered. Number 8. Electoral divisions. How it's used. When you want to start a convo about politics, right, but you don't know where the person stays. Eh, hey, what electoral division you in? Ah? Two words to refer to one word. Basically, a constituency. Lah. GRCs and SMCs are all electoral divisions within Singapore, demarcated by the PM by law for the purposes of the elections. Number nine, returning officer. How it's used. The returning officer will be announcing the election results tonight. Yum, Ami! Okay, okay, moving on. The returning officer is the person who announces the election results. His job is to ensure that the elections are impartial and smoothly conducted, and to direct election officials who run the polling stations and count ballots. Number 10. Mandate. How it's used. The party wanted to secure a strong mandate in the upcoming elections. The authority given by the voters to a candidate or a party to act as his representative and carry out policies. Number 11. Manifesto. How it's used. The ruling party has just launched their manifesto ahead of the GE. It's a public declaration of the party's intentions, opinions, objectives and policies. Basically a thing that says this is what we stand for. Number 12. Cooling off day. How it's used. Today is cooling off day. There will be no campaigning involved. A day after the end of the campaigning period where the parties cannot campaign. Not online, not physically. It's a day for the voters to think about the issues they'll discuss during the campaigning period before they go into the polling booths. There you go, your crash course on the most commonly used terms during the GE. Now when all these terms are used during this super exciting period, you can gay and act like you know everything. Because you do now!